Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this HTC Butterfly S which is a high-end Android phone by HTC and we're going to do the benchmarking and gaming review in this video. Let's start with some benchmarks and uh, before that let me give you a configuration for and for that we'll use the CPU Z application and as you can see it's powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 uh, quad-core processor clocked at 1.9 gigahertz. It's a quad-core processor, the GPU on this is an Adreno 320 and regarding the ram it has two gigs of ram internal storage is 16 gigs so let me swipe it off and this is how you swipe off apps and this htc s butterfly sorry htc butterfly s and uh, let's start with quadrant and uh, let me show you the system information again as you can see uh, it says that it's a quad core processor and uh, it's powered by a arduino 320 gpu the screen size on this phone is a 5 inch screen and it's a full HD 1080p panel. And these are the sensors that are provided on this phone. And let me show you the benchmark scores now. And as you can see on the Quadrant benchmark, we get some very good results. We get a actually amazing score of 13,193. And let me give you a breakup. The total is 13,193. Out of that, the CPU got a score of 40,885. Memory is 10,888. IO is 11,038, 2D is 980 and 3D graphics is 2173. So very impressive uh, quadrant scores I have to say. Let's swipe that away. And let me also show you the Antutu benchmark. And as you can see, we get a very impressive score of 25,355 in this Antutu. And these are the detailed scores. So again, I have to say very impressive uh, benchmark scores that we get with this HTC Butterfly S. And I know this Nina Mark II is not a very relevant uh, benchmark right now. But again, as you can see, we get almost a max score that is 59.1. And so that's all for the benchmarks. And now let's uh, start some gaming. And we'll start with Riptide GP2. And again, some of you might ask me why is Aspal 7 over here? And why am I not testing it with Asphalt 8? The reason for that is, uh, it's very peculiar. For example, let me search for Asphalt 8. Asphalt 8 is, uh, and the name of the game is Airborne. And if we select this, it says that our device is not compatible with this version. So it's really surprising because I also had the Samsung Galaxy S4 Active, which has actually the same configuration, the same GPU and uh, the processor and Asphalt 8 uh, works on that. But uh, sadly, it's not working on this phone. That's why I, that's why we're going to test it with Asphalt 7. First, let's try this Riptide uh, GP2. So this is Riptide GP2. And I've customized the controls for touch. Again, as you can see, it looks it's very smooth. And we do get those water effects on the screen. Very smooth gameplay. I see no hint of uh, drop frames or anything like that. Also the screen quality that HTC has put on this, it's a full uh, 1080p panel is very good. Whoops. So we can conclude that this uh, Riptide uh, GP2 works uh, very well on this uh, HTC Butterfly S. Uh, we don't see any hint of any lag or anything like that. So let me get out of this one and let's uh, play another game. Uh, let's try this another game. Uh, let's try this Real Racing 3 and we'll come back to Aspal 7. So this is Real Racing 3 and this is a test lap. To control the car you just tilt left or right. 
Now let me change the camera angle now. And uh, all the graphics are getting rendered. Uh, just notice the rear view mirror. We can see uh, that's also working. So that's nice. Let me get out of this one, this view. So Real Racing 3 is working very well. Uh, so let me also skip to another level so this is another level that we are loading on this real racing 3 this game is actually free on the android play store Though the audio levels are not very loud, it's very clear because of these front two speakers that we have on this Butterfly S. And I would say it's playing actually pretty well. Let me change the camera angles. So looks like uh, playing uh, Real Racing 3 will be a very good experience. I don't see any uh, frame drops or any anomalies. So let me just get out of this uh, one also now. You'll have a good experience playing this Real Racing 3. Also, let's uh, again try this Asphalt 7 now. So this is Asphalt 7. Let me quickly just change the steering controls. And I'm using this on-screen controls now. And it actually looks pretty good. Again, I have to say, uh, the LCD panel that HTC has put is very good. Looks like it's playing it very well, as far. Oops, he cornered me. And I have to say the front speakers are pretty loud. You do get a decent amount of bass. So looks like it's playing this Asphalt 7 very well. Uh, let me just get out of this one and try one more level. Um, this is the Miami level.
again a very smooth uh, gameplay as I uh, we experienced in the last level don't see any lag with this one Oops. So very smooth, again I did not see any hint of lag uh, with this Aspal 7 on this HTC butterfly. So I would say you'll have a very good experience playing even this game, see I'm doing all those drifts etc. Then also there is no lagginess or anything like that, it's able to handle it very smoothly. So I would say you'll have a very good experience playing Aspal 7 on this HTC Butterfly S. So let me get out of this one also now. So we can conclude that this uh, HTC Butterfly is also very good for gaming also. It could play some heavy games. For example, we saw uh, Riptide GP2, uh, Real Racing 3 and even Aspal 7. We did not see any hint of lagginess or anything like that. Even when it comes to the benchmarks, we got some very impressive scores. So I would say it's a very decent uh, phone even for gaming. I'll also be doing a full in-depth review of this phone shortly. So if you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe to the same. That's it for now. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.